you fantastic, amazing, brilliant coach, you, I am here to just, I'm actually going to be making this one up as I go along because it's an idea that I've been playing with for a while and I just, I'm, fi- I'm sitting around this morning I'm in between clients and I'm starting to get just sort of let my mind percolate. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm Ben Dooley, MCC coach. I, I love exploring coaching and what it is and what it means and how I can help you be the coach you are here to be. And today, uh, you know, the, the whole world of quantum physics and quantum mechanics and quantum everything. And, you know, there is a, um, and I'm not the first to bring this up. I know there are others out there who talk about quantum coaching. I don't know if it's necessarily really working with quantum mechanics and quantum physics, or if it's just a fancy term that's used because it's de rigueur. Um, I don't know, quite frankly, I don't think it matters too much because I've seen quantum coaching out there and it looks really cool. Anyways, I'm here to actually bring in some quantum into your coaching. It's just such a fun word. But really what I'm looking at more is the the theory of Schrodinger's cat. Schrodinger, Schrodinger. I don't know. I don't know the guy. But for those who don't know, it's pretty – it's a pretty – Odd, a strange concept and pretty cool concept. It's basically, if for all those cat lovers out there, I did not create this. Basically, it's the concept of if you put a cat in the box and there's like a radioactive pellet or some kind of poison that the cat may or may not eat, but you create this, the structure and the, 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 um, the environment so that the cat could be alive or the cat could be dead. And because it's in a sealed contained box, you have no way of knowing until you open the box and then discover the cat is alive, hooray, or the cat is dead, boo. Unless you don't like cats, I guess it's the other way around. Anyways, that's not the point. So the whole concept of this is that if before that moment when you open the box, The cat is, according to quantum mechanics and Schrodinger's uh, theory, the the cat is both alive and dead. It's living in that world of possibility. And both realities exist until they have been confirmed. Until we've opened the box and said, aha, this is what it is. But before that moment, It's both are possible. Both are very real and true in that moment. Okay, so you may already be kind of, oh, I see why this could, how this could apply to coaching. If not, don't worry. I'm here to kind of connect those two dots together. I started looking at this going, well, wait a minute. How is that like our clients? Because our clients come to us with a container, their own container of possibilities. They are both miserable, horrible loser failures and incredible, brilliant, amazing successes. Both are contained within. I mean, you get that, right? Isn't that just get that concept at any moment, your client will come to you. And I'm exaggerating this a little bit just for the sake of demonstration, your client comes to you in this place where they might fail or they are living in a failure or they're fearing failure or they're resisting failure or whatever it is, but there's a failure place that they're sitting in and struggling with. And at the same time, They're sitting in this success place, success waiting to happen, success that they're trying to process and deal with, success that they're working to create, success they're manifesting, success that they're owning, whatever it is, they are both a failure and a success at the same time. And we don't know until we open up the client and take a look in. Now, the difference is that we get to help our client choose which one they want to be. The cat really can't decide, am I alive or dead? Kind of doesn't work that way. It either is or it isn't. But we have that with our clients. So 
I'm still working with this. I'm still playing with it, but you take it. I, I've never done this before. Okay. Uh, enter your thoughts in the comments below or even better. Toss me a quick email or come and join on one of my calls. Go and check out Ben at Bidu.org. Tons of free calls out there. Membership, free access to tons of stuff. Send me a quick email, Ben at Bidu.org. I'm happy to chat and dig this in further with you. I think it's so exciting to realize, wait a minute, my client is both a failure, a miserable, horrible, abject failure, and an incredible, amazing, brilliant success all at the same time. What we get to do as coaches is open up the client and see what's really in here. And we get to choose and we get to work with the client to help them see what's really here. Because actually, we are all both all the time. I fail at stuff left and right. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just means I fail at things. And I succeed at things. And sometimes, as we know as coaches, a failure is also a success at the same time. Oh, man. Whoa. So that's, that's what we get to look at. It's not bad or wrong or good or whatever. It just is. And so we get to look at what is the failure that exists at the same time as the success that exists at the same time. And it's there. Oh, this is so cool. I'm going to go and like, I don't know what I'm going to do, but whoever I'm coaching with next, look out. <laughs> All right. By the way, this is also, I'm working on putting this into my class, the Fast Pass to Masterful Coaching, which is already pulling in lots of science and physics and, and that world into coaching, how and why we can coaching works and how we can utilize physics and science in as a leverage to access and access and expand and magnify our coaching. Come and check it out. I will see you on the next B2 Bits. And until then... Hold your clients as both and see what you go from there. Until then, happy coaching.